Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. We got a very special guest, Mr. Tyrell Rose. Hello. <laughs> he is the director of content for Bowling This Month magazine, which you can read online and subscribe. And today we're going to show you how to properly apply tape inside the thumb hole and on top of your thumb for the best fit possible while bowling. All right, so I see a lot of pros, a lot of high-end bowlers using a lot of tape inside the thumb, on the thumb. Can you tell us a little bit about why they do that? Well, the tape inside the thumb is because the, the hole, the thumb hole you use doesn't change size, but your thumb does. So depending on what you eat, depending how you're bowling, depending on temperature, your thumb will go up and down in size and you need tape to adjust because the thumb hole in the ball won't do that for you. All right, so that's inside the thumb. And what about on top of the thumb, which is becoming more and more popular these days. I'm starting to sell more of these than actual white tape for in the thumb hole. So what are the benefits of a tape on your thumb? So the kind of fabric style tapes you put on the back of your thumb mostly, those are really for comfort and feel. They kind of reduce some of the friction, help bowlers feel good about coming out of the ball. They also protect the skin, so if you're prone to ripping or prone to blistering, a lot of bowlers will put that on to protect their, their skin while they're bowling, especially for longer format tournaments. All right, that makes sense. So let's start with the white tape in front of the thumb in the ball, and let's show how we can properly apply that. All right, so the first thing to do uh, when you're working with tape inside the thumb hole is you need to make sure that the tape goes on the flat part of your thumb. It goes on, not on the sides, not on the back usually, but exactly on the flat part of your thumb. Most people's thumbs are oval, so you gotta make sure that that is correct in the ball. It's not always straight up close to the fingers at the top of the hole. It's usually off to the side on an angle. So the first thing you're gonna do, put the fingers in the ball, fingertips only, and then you're gonna slide your thumb in halfway. This tells you where the flat part of the thumb is, the, and then you can mark it with a pencil, or just mark it with a piece of tape, or mark it with your finger if you're not sure where it is. And that gives you an indication of where the tape has to go so it lines up right on the pad of the thumb. Then you take your tape, and this can be done with multiple tools, uh, or just your fingers. I like to use a screwdriver because it helps me be a little more precise, but anything that's kind of thin and small enough to get into the thumb hole easily will work. So then you just line up your tape, the round part on top, you bend it a little bit so it slides into the hole easily. You get it lined up with the center, center of the tape, the top of the round part of the tape, in line with the line you marked or whatever, however you marked the, the angle of the, the hole, and you just put it in there like that. Because there's tape at the top of the hole, the, the top of the tape might not stick perfectly, so you just gotta kinda rub it in a little bit, make sure it's flat, make sure it's flush. So when you put your thumb, it doesn't roll off, roll down the hole as your thumb goes in. And as you can see, the tape is about an eighth of an inch down from the top of the thumb hole. The tape isn't sticking out of the thumb hole. It's not too far down the thumb hole. It's just perfectly resting on the pad of your thumb at the front of the thumb hole. So you get a little bit more oval with the shape of the thumb and you get that perfect feel on the very front of your thumb while you're releasing the ball. It's important to, to keep the, the first piece of tape about that eighth of an inch down because what happens is it just continues the taper in your ball. You as a ball driller, you know that most people's thumbs are tapered and so the top of the hole is always a little bit tapered and the tape being down a little bit continues that taper as it goes as your thumb goes in. So when you add more tape, you taper that m like further down to make sure that it fits the shape of the thumb that gets kind of narrower and smaller as it gets closer to the tip. So let's put another piece in right on top of the current piece and let's show how that's supposed to look inside the thumb hole. So this is where it gets a little tricky and it depends on you as a bowler and your feel. So in this case, we put a one inch piece of tape in as the base piece and the second piece of tape, we're gonna put another one inch piece, but some people, they might prefer to go with a smaller piece as a second one, like a three quarter inch, even a half inch, depending on their feel. But no matter which one you're doing, no matter what size, you're gonna go a little bit lower, about an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth, again, depending on your thumb shape and your feel. So this creates a continual taper. It also makes it easier when you wanna take that piece of tape out. You take one out and not two or three or four if they're all piled on top of each other. So this is amazing for adjusting the size of the hole. Also, like you can do it on the fly. You can do it in between frames, in between shots. It's really quick, it's really easy. And I would suggest just experimenting with it. Start with this as like a base of how to put the tape in and then experiment with it. You know, put it a little bit lower, a little bit higher, try and match the thumb perfectly on the front and just go from there because you got to have good feel, good fit while you're bowling a tournament to have the best chance to win. What I would, what I would suggest, the flatter your thumb is, the more you're going to want narrower pieces of tape. The wider the, the wider the piece of tape, the more it wants to go around your thumb. So you're going to want to use like narrower pieces from an inch to three quarters to half an inch if you're a flat, if you're a flat thumb kind of bowler. Talk to your pro shop guy, figure out which piece of tape 
which size tape is good for you. They make half inch, three quarter, and one inch. So people with a little bit bigger thumbs, you're gonna use the bigger piece of tape just so it sits flat on the front of your thumb. And if you have a smaller thumb, you're obviously gonna use a smaller piece of tape on just to match it so as Ty said, it doesn't wrap around the sides of your thumb. We want it just on the front, on the pad of your fingerprint there. All right, coach, so we put the white tape at the front of the thumb hole. How come we didn't put it at the back of the thumb? So personally, I find tape at the back, especially white tape, it just adds to the friction and it might actually make your release like harder to get out. For some people, they like it, especially those prone to drier skin where they tend to lose the ball more. That helps them grip it a little bit more, so that's fine. But generally speaking, as, as a rule of thumb, so to speak, <laughs> <laughs> we want the tape to be more in, in the front because that gives you the texture you need without squeezing and you feel it right away. I think this is a better, uh, better place for it in the front than in the back. Uh, but again, those with uh, drier skin that tend to lose the ball faster might want that extra friction on both sides of the ball. From a comfort point of view, most bowlers that I speak to prefer the friction on the front and the smooth slug, sanded smooth uh, on the back and on the sides. All right, as you've seen, we have white tape at the front of the thumb hole. Uh, we've come to the conclusion like that's the best possible place to put the tape. There's another piece of tape that we haven't talked about yet. That's the black piece. And it's not textured, it's very smooth and it's very thin. Can you tell us a little bit about black tape and when you should use it or why you shouldn't use it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's less popular nowadays compared to when, it, when like the two tapes were more popular. You used to see the white tape, you actually used to see neon tape, which was thinner textured tape, and you, you'd see the black smooth tape that was much more plasticky. Um, that black plasticky tape was often more towards the back of the thumb hole and the white tape was for the front. Um, you see the black tape a lot less frequently now. That's, I think, due to slugs being used because this, the urethane slugs, the, the, the sanding of them makes them nice and smooth. The old way of drilling bone balls that didn't use slugs, you'd end up with like the texture, the rough texture of the core and the filler material and the, the, the shell. So that would smooth that out for you as a bowler. So that's why I think those are a little less popular than you've seen in the past. You can still use those. They tend to be better for the back. Just like texture is better on the front and smooth is better on the back. You generally don't put the smooth ones on the front of the thumb hole. Uh, but that's pretty much why we don't see them as much as we used to. But some people still like them and go ahead and use them if that's what gets you the right fit and the right feel. All right, thanks coach, that was a lot of good information. Just one more thing I wanna to touch on. A lot of the high level bowlers that I deal with, that I drill balls for, they want me to drill the thumb a little bit bigger than what I measure, just because they wanna use tape. They wanna use tape all the time, so the thumb hole is just a titch bigger, just so they can put one or two pieces of white tape at the front, and then add one or two more as they bowl if their thumb shrinks a little bit or whatnot. What do you think about that? Is it just more consistent? having a fresh piece of tape all the time rather than just a thumb slug? Yeah, you want your tape to be fresh when you're, when you're using it. And, and a lot of bowlers, like I, said, like I said before, your thumb changes sizes. And generally, the more serious a bowler you are, the more you're bowling, the more you're gonna have to change stuff because your thumb is swelling. Pretty much always have some amount of tape in the ball, so you're gonna want to set a standard of having one or two in and then add two or one or two if you need it when your thumb shrinks. By that same token, you're gonna wanna have a second thumb drill that's even bigger than that so that when you never have a thumb with zero tape in it. You always have at least one piece of tape because it's the same texture every time. The whole point of having switch grips or copy thumbs or anything like that is to have the same feel every time. And if you go to the point where you've taken all your tape out, that's no longer the same feel because you have the smooth texture on the front. Yeah. So you're better off with a thumb hole that's just slightly bigger so you can add tape as needed and then remove it as needed. And then when you get to the last piece of tape, Drill another thumb if you have switch grips to have it a little bigger. So lesson learned, have a piece of tape in your thumb, always to add a little bit of texture. It just creates a little bit less grip pressure for you while you're bowling as well, because you want to be nice and relaxed while you're throwing the ball, nice and snug. So a little bit of texture on the front of the thumb is a good thing, we want that. All right, coach, next up, we got the tape that goes on the back of the thumb rather than in the thumb hole. And we already touched on this a little bit. And we're gonna show you how to properly apply this as I see this butchered all the time. So. It always peels off or it bunches up. We want it to have nice and smooth, nice form fitting all the way up the thumb so we get a nice firm feel all the time in the thumb. All right, so this is similar to like uh, kinesio tape yeah. uh, that kind of stretches. So from my perspective, the best way to put this stuff on, give me your thumb for a second. Okay, you start at the thumbnail and there's two reasons for this. One, it's the base of your thumb. Two, the thumbnail is actually nice and smooth and it's the stickiest part of your hand so you can get a good grip for it. So you stick it, properly to the thumb and you pull it and stretch it slightly. You don't want to pull it, try to get it all the way to your wrist. You just want to pull it slightly so it's got a bit of a stretch to it. And then you're going to press it down in the middle and then smooth out the sides. 
so it's covering the area you want to cover to protect or all of it or however you do it. Now in this case this piece is not quite wide enough if you want to protect your whole thumb you need a second piece but you're generally going to place it over the part of your knuckle that rubs or the part that you want to protect. Look at that, nice and neat, no wrinkles, not peeling. This is going to last all day in a tournament. All right, coach, so we're putting white pieces of tape in the thumb to adjust the fit, make the thumb a little snugger. Can we also do that with this fitting tape on the back of the thumb hole? So even though these fitting pieces come in different thicknesses, these are not meant as adjustments based on your thumb shrinking or swelling. This is meant as a permanent thing. The different thicknesses actually have different textures which provide a different like exit speed for your thumb to come out of the ball. Any of these things help your thumb come out faster than it normally would because they actually reduce friction on your thumb coming out of the ball. So you want to find the one that gives you the right feel for coming out of it, not just for the thickness. And this becomes a permanent thing that you do before every block. This becomes something you do um, as part of your fit. So realistically when you're getting your ball drilled, you want to account for this with the size of the hole you're getting fitted for. Just like you might wear a wrist guard if that's what you wear for, for, yeah. for bowling, you're going to wear a wrist guard to get measured. If you generally wear this tape, you're going to wear this when the ball driller will measure you so that they drill the hole big enough to fit this. So we got a question for you at home. Do you use tape in the thumb hole? If so, how much? And why do you like it? And also, if you have any other questions about tape inside the thumb, on the thumb, let us know down in the comments. We'll do our best to try and answer it. We usually read every comment, so let her rip. Thanks again, Coach Ty, Director of Content at Bowling This Month magazine. You can read it all online. And Ty is now called the Doctor of Bowling here in BC. <laughs> he comes here, he fixes everyone's game, and then he leaves. Have a good day. See you in the next video.